You know, this year is when negotiations is starting up for the UAW. And a lot of us are going to be involved in that who are auto workers, both active and retired. And this issue of in the Midwest of the United States, plants lying empty that are perfectly viable. I'll give you an example. A couple of blocks from me in Detroit, there was a new steel plant. It hadn't been around very long. They closed up. Do you know what they did? They tore it down for scrap like within a month after they shut the plant. Does that make any sense? No. A new plant. And yet, we all see gas prices are going up again, aren't they? Yes. Everything is. Can we talk about a transportation system that is based solely on cars? No. If, no. You know, even solely on electric cars? No. 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 A change has to be made, and clearly the idea of uh, the government playing no role. Well, if the government's not going to play, play a role, then, then who is? And the government we know may not represent us, but who is it that should be the government if it's not us, the people? Yes. So we need a government that is going to be meeting the needs of the people, and that does mean creating a transportation in industry. There's plenty of work that needs to be done. Let's fill these empty plants and do it. And not only do we need to put pressure on the government to do this, but it needs to be an issue in negotiations. Because I don't know whether a lot of you know that GM used to make buses. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. They used to make trains. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you're going to be a transportation industry, you've got to be more than cars. Why aren't they? getting involved in the broader question of producing the kind of transportation systems that we need. Light rail, yeah. speed trains, yes. we need high speed trains. This is what we need. And this can be an issue in negotiations and we're probably gonna be out here again, I have to say, at the bargaining convention coming up in March. So we'll be letting you know more about that. It's not just a question of the UAW, though. It's a question of the entire community. Because when UAW jobs go down, it hurts the community. So that's why we're, we're glad to see members of the community here supporting us, because this is the way we're going to move forward with unity. Thank you very much.